So what happens if your DNA gets damaged from external sources or uh, just during replication? There needs to be a way to repair the damage to your DNA because if the damage to the DNA is severe enough, the cell can't survive. Um, if, it's, if the damage is extensive but not enough to kill the cell, uh, sometimes even more intense problems can happen. Things like out of control cell growth, tumors, cancer. Um, there are three main mechanisms of DNA repair that we're, we're going to look at. The first is called photoreactivation, the second is called excision repair, and the third is called mismatch repair. Um, we'll start with photoreactivation repair. In general, photoreactivation repair involves repairing damage done by ultraviolet radiation. Uh, what happens with ultraviolet radiation is uh, that particular type of radiation and others like it have enough energy that they can penetrate through your cell membranes and they can knock electrons off of the DNA molecule. Um, when you remove electrons from something it creates an ion and so ultraviolet radiation is called ionizing radiation. Um, when it does that specifically if there are pyrimidines the one ring um, bases next to each other. Uh, sometimes when you uh, remove electrons from those in order to become stable again they'll, they'll bond to each other. Um, this is called a pyrimidine dimer. Dimer means two units put together. Especially thymines will do this. Um, this can cause some kinks in the strand of DNA where this happens and uh, that can actually stop DNA replication at that point and if the DNA doesn't replicate it, it, the cell will die. So there are certain organisms, certain types of bacteria and fungi that contain a special type of enzymes called photolyases. Now the photo means light and the L-Y part of the word uh, comes from the word lyse which means to break and the A-S-E ending of course means it's an enzyme. So photolyases are enzymes they absorb energy from visible light and they use that energy to then break the bonds between the dimers. So they essentially undo the damage that was done by ultraviolet radiation. So photolyase, light breaking enzyme. Now we don't have that. Um, we don't have the ability to use uh, visible light as, as a way to activate our enzymes. If, it, if we did then uh, there wouldn't be such a problem with sun tanning or sun burning because any damage that was done by the ultraviolet radiation from sunlight would also the sunlight would also activate the enzymes that would fix it but we don't have that so sometimes we have errors in our DNA and those need to be excised or cut out so we are going to use something called excision repair um, what happens is we have enzymes that come in and cut out these little bonded dimers and then replace them with good bases, with non-bonded bases. So we have enzymes that actually cut the errors right out of our DNA and replace them with good uh, bases so that we don't have the errors anymore. So this is how we typically will repair damage done by ultraviolet light. It's good that we can do this. If for some reason we couldn't, we could have some serious conditions. There's one we'll talk about in a second. Finally, the third type of repair is called mismatch repair. Uh, sometimes DNA as it's being replicated, if the DNA polymerase misses uh, the, the bases that should be matched up but aren't, or on the lagging strand for example, where we know DNA replication is very choppy, sometimes we have bases that don't match up properly. And what happens is when they're not matched up properly, they won't bond, and you'll have a little section of DNA that will kind of form this loop. And the loop is called a microsatellite. And uh, these loops can cause problems because as the DNA then goes to continually replicate itself you run into a loop and DNA polymerase can't really go any further. So we have enzymes that are mismatch repair enzymes and they snip out the ones that are mismatched and they replace them with the appropriate base so that the DNA will sort of come back together again and form a nice neat double helix. Uh, we also can do mismatch repair after DNA replication in case there are some mismatched bases. Now if your DNA repair isn't working, 
there are a number of different conditions that you could end up with. One of them, probably one of the more interesting ones, is something called xeroderma pigmentosum. Now, this is a situation where the enzymes that are excision enzymes that cut out the thymine dimers that are caused by ultraviolet radiation, well, they don't work. And when they don't work, that means that you can't repair the damage done by ultraviolet radiation. And if you can't repair it, that means that it's cumulative. Every time a person who has xeroderma pigmentosum, which we call XP for short, every time they're exposed to any source that might contain ultraviolet light, now obviously that's the sun, but some incandescent light bulbs, some fluorescent light bulbs, even some candlelight, depending on the composition of the wax, can give off low levels of ultraviolet radiation. And since they can't repair that, it builds up over time. They get blisters on their skin. Uh, they can get cancers very easily, skin cancers. It, it's a very difficult life. So any kind of exposure to light can be fatal because it never gets repaired. It just accumulates over time. People with XP live nocturnally. In other words, they live their lives at night when the sun is gone. They're very, very careful about what sources of light they expose themselves to. There are kids with XP that go to camp in the summertime just like anybody else, but their camp is held at night. They sleep during the day. Does this sound familiar at all? Does this sound like maybe a legend may have grown out of some prominent individuals who might have suffered from this? It's thought that the, the, the modern vampire legend was related in some small way to xeroderma pigmentosum. There's another disease called porphyria, which is also thought to have spurred on the vampire legend, but definitely XP is part of the whole sleep in the daytime and active at night. But it's only one of many different conditions that can arise when your DNA can't repair itself. So it's really important that those enzymes are working well.